And we're back. Two videos in one day. That's pretty crazy, eh? Let's get this shit going. So we're back, as you can see, not in the dungeons, but over on this side of the castle. And as you can see behind me, we have started what will be the Forbidden Forest. Now, you see a lot of people get this wrong when they're building their Hogwarts, and they put the Forbidden Forest over by Hagrid's hut down over by the clock tower. But what they don't know is that the Forbidden Forest that was shown in the first two movies was actually over here. Because Hagrid's hut was over here and not down by the clock tower. And as you can see, we've done all of the terraforming finally and put in all the trees and that area off to the right where it's just blank will obviously be filled with trees again. But it looks really nice on the map. I'm absolutely in love with the way that this place is shaping up. I really am. And we're going to continue over here because I have something wonderful to show you all. And if you're my friend on Xbox already, you probably already know that this is here. But for those who don't know, we finally did what everybody's been asking us to do. And that is, we finally put in... The maze. Yes, the maze has been highly requested by a lot of people. And this marks us having two of the three Triwizard um, events. We can't do the water one because the Black Lake's only one block deep. That kind of stinks. Especially now that we have all the water blocks, it'd be really easy to make a little like underwater thing, but... What can you do, right? But anyway, this is the maze. As you can tell, it's ridiculously huge. And right there is where the Triwizard Trophy is. It's not direct in the center. I think in the movie it is, but I wanted to have the maze be kind of, you know, long and difficult to get through. So, what can you do? But as you can see, there's only two ways in to this cup. Um, not at the beginning. At the beginning, there's like a good bit of paths, and then there is a line that separates the paths, and then it gets harder And at, after that line, and then there's another line, and then it just gets harder tenfold at that point. So it's like a three-tier maze. Once you get past the beginning, you might say, oh, this is easy, and then you go into the middle, and it's like, oh, this is a little bit harder, and then when you get to the end, it's like, Jesus is only literally two ways in to the cup. And they both lead to the same place. So we did add the Sphinx. Well, I haven't built the Sphinx yet, but there is going to be a Sphinx. Like there was in the book. Where it's an easier path to the cup, but you have to answer the riddle. I haven't figured out what we're going to do if somebody answers it wrong yet. Because if you answer it wrong in the book, then you have to fight the Sphinx. But we obviously can't do that. So I'll figure something out. But there is also, alternatively, outside of the Sphinx, there's a path that's really, really long and a lot harder than trying to go the Sphinx path. As you can see in this point in the video, I made it to the first light across. So we got through one of the four or five different ways through the opening there. But yeah, the terraforming here is... Well, it's not completely done. There's still a couple blank parts I can tell in this video. I need to put some more trees in, but... For the most part, it's done. And I'm so happy that it's done. It's taking a while for it to render in. The map is very big. But you can see the Quidditch pitch here is no longer um, floating. And that's good because it's been floating for a long time. So everything's just kind of coming together at this point, you know? Um, we we're obviously need to fill in a lot more trees everywhere, and I need to do Aragog's little den, even, even though I hate spiders to death. But in here is the uh, champion's tent I finally built after, like, seven months of having this dragon arena built. And here's the little tunnel where Harry comes out to fight the Hungarian Horntail. And the arena is a little bit smaller than the dragon, but that's fine, because the dragon looks cool and I don't feel like rebuilding the arena. But yeah, that's a good update on the Hogwarts grounds. At the moment, we're kind of working on London and that area. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.